Hey, I'm Not So Waste Trainer, and welcome to the history of the Pokémon world. Let's get into it. This is the first part of a new series on the lore of the Pokémon world, and I hope that you all enjoy watching it as much as I enjoy doing the research for it. Remember to hit that subscribe button so you can be sure that you watch the following parts as they come out. It would also help me a lot, of course. And now, let's truly get into it. In the beginning, there was nothing. What we now know as the Pokémon universe was but a void, barren of all things. Life did not exist, time did not flow and space had no place in that chaos. At the center of that vast nothingness, one single egg came to be. From that egg, Arceus was born into a lonely existence. Faced with such a scenery of emptiness, the original one made three beings, Dialga, Palkia and Giratina. The first two would have tails spawning for generations, for Dialga made so time would flow and Palkia created space so that things had a realm on which to exist in. The third one though, would be mostly forgotten. Giratina had the power of antimatter and carried the weight of balance on its back. But not all things happened as Arceus envisioned, for violence was on Giratina's nature. As creation bloomed, destruction followed close behind. And so, Arceus had to banish Giratina into a new dimension, one that would serve as a reverse of the Pokémon world. We know it as the Distortion world. There, Giratina would create his twisted version of a world, always serving as the violent keeper of the balance in the whole Pokémon universe. With Giratina banished, creation continued, free of any menace, as the universe and the Pokémon world flourished from Dialga's and Palkia's powers. After the universe was created, both retreated into their respective dimensions, linked to the Pokémon world through Mount Coronet, where today lie the ruins of the Spear Pillar. But what is a world without emotion? What is a world without spirit? Do time and space really matter if they are not aware of each other or if no one is aware of them? They do not. Knowing this, Arceus created three more beings out of one single egg, Azelf, Uxi and Mesprit. While all of them shared the power to calm down the creation trio, they were also blessed with specific gifts. Azelf was given the gift of willpower, Uxi was given the gift of knowledge, and Mesprit was given the gift of emotion. Together, they were tasked with bringing spirit into the Pokémon world and all its living things. But in a world ruled by balance, no blessing comes without a curse. The Lake Guardians were no exception. As told in the midst of the Sinnoh region, if one was to earth Azelf, one would lose their ability to move in 5 days. This Pokémon, in order to protect others, developed the ability to enter another being's body, escaping from harm. If one was to look into Uxie's eyes, one would lose their memory in an instant. This is the reason why Uxie's eyes are always shut. And if one was to touch Mesprit, in just 5 days one would lose all of their emotions. Mesprit, knowing this, flees from all humans as to not be touched. The realization of such curses would only come later in time, for life was still not abundant in the Pokémon world, as it still was a pool of lifeless and chaotic turmoil, though it would not stay this way for long. We've reached the end of part 1, Creation. In the next part, we look into the shaping of the Pokémon world and the beginning of life. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, as well as leave me any suggestions or even things that I might have forgotten. If you want to follow me on social media for any updates and more Pokemon content, the links are all in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.